Another example using creative shots with the spin, how it flows in within the next scene. This is not a tickling competition. These lads are out to hurt each other. What's happening with those sausages, Charlie? Double news circus. You also see Guy Ritchie using comedy style sort of language in this scene specifically with Turkish and his chef about the sausages. What do you know about caravans? How's that? You spent a summer in there, which means you know more than me. And I don't want to have my pants pulled down over the price. What's wrong with this one? Oh, nothing, Tommy. It's tip top. It's just I'm not sure about the colour. It was all arranged. You just got to pick it up. It's an address. It's a campsite. Got ten grand, and it'd be nice to see change. What's that many of them sausages, Charlie? Five minutes, Turkish. It was two minutes five minutes ago. Well, ain't Parkies, are they? Oh, fucking ain't Parkies. You're a sensitive one, you tell me. Fuck me, old Tom. What's that? It's me belt, Turkish. Oh, Tommy, there's a gun in your trousers. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? It's the Germans. What's to stop it blowing your bollocks off every time you sit down? Where did you get it? Boris the Blade. You mean Boris the Sneaky Fucking Russian? You're heavy, innit? Heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. If it doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. Boris the Blade. Or Boris the Bullet Dodger. Spent as the Soviet sickle and as hard as the hammer that crosses it. Apparently, it's just impossible to kill the bastard. Back to my partner, Tommy. Tommy runs the other business, the slot machines. Which keeps the rain off our heads and the gloves on Gorgeous's hands. However, Tommy's a little preoccupied with protection at present. Right, I'll take you. There's a reason for Tommy's newfound enthusiasm for firearms. Sooner or later, in the unlicensed boxing world, you're going to have to deal with that reason. Brit, Tom. That's not worth a bet. I don't know what it is. He doesn't look bad, does he? Oh, no, Mr. Parkwood, he looks great. You do you proud, Governor? You reckon that's what people should do for me, do you, Gary? Do me proud? That's what you deserve, Mr. Parkwood. Pull your tongue out of my arsehole, Gary. Dogs do that. You're not a dog, are you, Gary? Uh, no. No, I'm not. However, you do have all the characteristics of a dog, Gary. All except loyalty. It's rumoured that Brittop's favourite means of dispatch involves a stun gun, plastic bag, a roll of tape, and a pack of hungry pigs. You're a ruthless little cunt, Liam, I'll give you that. But I've got no time for grass. Feed up to the pigs, Harold. What the fuck are you two looking at? As you just saw in them both in them two scenes, the use of voiceover, freeze frame, and also the use of language to add a sort of comedy style to his films. You you'll see in both Lockstock and Snatch that he has he uses voiceover with freeze frames to kind of tell the audience the story bit by bit so they so they know where they are.